Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our thrilling tale, brought to you by Storyteller. Today, we're diving into the heart of Salem, where the Thanksgiving celebration is in full swing. Picture this. The air is crisp with autumn's embrace, and the aroma of roasted turkey and spiced cider fills the town square. Flickering lanterns line the cobbled streets, casting a warm glow on the festivities. But beneath the surface of joy, there's a tension, like static electricity in the air. Our protagonist, a young woman with wild, curly auburn hair and bright green eyes, stands at the edge of the square. Her eyes, usually full of curiosity, now reflect a storm of determination. She's ready to lead her friends and the townsfolk in confronting a mysterious threat. So, buckle up, because this chapter is about to take us on a roller coaster ride of emotions and revelations. As the Thanksgiving celebration unfolds, the cornucopia, once a symbol of abundance, pulses with a dark energy. Its ornate carvings twist ominously in the shadows. A young man, known for his inventive spirit, has crafted a series of devices to counter the looming threat. Each device is a testament to his ingenuity. Meanwhile, a young woman with expressive hazel eyes moves among the townsfolk, her empathy bridging the gap between fear and understanding. Together, they form a fragile alliance, a tapestry of hope woven from their shared experiences. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting long shadows across the square, the atmosphere thickens with anticipation. The townsfolk gather, united by a common purpose, ready to face the unknown. The stage is set for a confrontation that will test their courage and resolve. Oh. But here's where it gets really juicy. As darkness falls, the specter begins to manifest, swirling like a tempest. Its shadowy tendrils reach out to the townsfolk, exposing their deepest fears and regrets. Faces pale with the weight of their pasts, the townspeople recoil. Beside our protagonist stands an eccentric historian, his wild mane of white hair illuminated by the lantern light. He whispers words of encouragement, reminding her of the strength that lies in unity. The confrontation escalates, emotions flaring as the specter reveals personal connections to each townsfolk, dredging up memories long buried. Our protagonist steps forward, her voice steady yet filled with urgency. We cannot let fear divide us. We must face our pasts together. Her words hang in the air, a lifeline thrown into the chaos. The townsfolk begin to speak, their voices trembling but growing stronger, weaving a narrative of regret and redemption. But what if I told you? The tide is turning. As the townsfolk share their stories, a young man activates his devices, sending a pulse of light that momentarily illuminates the darkness. The specter, once a malevolent force, begins to shift, its form flickering as if caught between worlds. Our protagonist feels a surge of hope, Perhaps this confrontation could lead to healing, not just for the townsfolk, but for the specter itself. The air thickens with emotion, and as the last of the townsfolk shares their truths, the specter begins to dissolve, its shadowy tendrils retreating into the night. The atmosphere is charged with a sense of triumph and relief, as the townsfolk realize the power of their unity and courage. 